Hello everyone, my name is Lalit Soni and you are watching In Focus by Drishti IES. In today's episode, we will be discussing about diamonds. Recently, there has been this technique which has been discovered which says that can you build diamonds in just 15 minutes. Uh, much know how of these techniques are not known yet, but yes, the answer is yes, you can build a diamond in 15 minutes. So, we will be talking about that particular technique. We will see how traditional diamond has been or you can say synthetic diamond has been built. And on the line of that, we will see that what is the new technique which is talking about, okay. So, explain section is there and it can, it is saying that can a diamond be made in just 15 minutes, okay. So, let us start our discussion. In our today's discussion, there will be a outline one, first we will see what is the news and then we will come to the traditional diamond synthesis methods, okay. Till now, what kind of methods has been used, okay. We will talk about that. Then we will come to the new method which has been in the news which is to be discussed recently and then outcome and the challenges when we are talking about this new method we will talk about the outcome challenges and then we will see some future aspects and ultimately in the end there will be a practice question for you related to prelims okay so let's start with the news so first here you can see yes diamond can indeed be synthesized in just 15 minutes using a novel method or the new method developed by scientists from the institute for basic science in south korea so this institution is there institute for basic sciences in south korea and they have come up with an uh, process or you can say a method through which you can go for making these diamonds, synthetic diamonds in just 15 minutes, okay. This innovative technique circumvents the extreme conditions required by the traditional methods offering a more efficient and potentially scalable way to create diamonds, okay. Now, when we will be discussing the processes, we will see uh, traditional processes. There are two, three processes we will be discussing and then we will come to the new method. That new method is more, you can say, uh, promising so that is why that is uh, important for us to know about it okay now coming to the next part here that is what are the traditional diamond synthesis methods when we are talking about diamond diamond is a very precious stone okay so that is why it is in demand also okay Naturally, when we talk about diamonds, you know that di natural diamonds are found from the, or you can say they are formed from the deep within the earth's mantle. And you know that when we are talking about the earth's mantle, the extreme conditions are, you know, prevalent over there. There is very high pressure and there will be a very high temperature. Under that high pressure and temperature, you will find these natural diamonds over there, okay. When we are talking about the synthetic ones, so you have to come up with an, uh, you know, uh, circumstances or the situations wherein you can create such amount of pressure and temperature so that you can go for creation of such synthetic diamonds, okay. So, there are two methods when we are talking about the, uh, you know, mimicking the natural diamonds or the synthesizing the, uh, you know, artificial diamond. Here you can say high pressure, high temperature, that is HP, HT method, okay, high pressure, high temperature method. With the name, it is clear that it will require very high temperature, very high pressure. Here you can say pressure of several giga pascal pascal is a unit which is uh, to measure pressure and then uh, when we are talking about this particular method it requires pressure of giga pascals and then when we are talking about the temperature nearly 1500 degrees celsius temperature is required okay under such condition these conditions are made artificially in the lab and under such con condition this synthetic diamond is created here you can say typically it needs a starter jam or a seed okay now, when we are talking about this starter jam or seed, what happens is that whenever in a you know, lab, if you are going for the creation of diamond, there will be a stone which will be used, okay. Now, let us see this is the stone and then whatever process is going, uh, you know, in that particular creation of uh, diamond, in that particular process, this stone will act as a seed. What will happen is that whatever compound or the methane gas they are using, whatever carbon is coming, they will deposit on this, okay, and they will form ultimately a diamond. So, ultimately this particular, you know, uh, uh, starting jam or the, uh, you can say seed stone that will be there, which will act as a seed on which diamond can be created, okay. Now, the problem is in such cases, in the high pressure, high temperatures, one thing is that you have to create a very high temperature, very high, uh, you know, pressure. Second thing is you need this jam stone or the starter jam, okay. So, that is two, uh, you can say, challenges which are there in the traditional methods, okay. Here you can see and these methods are basically time consuming, minimum two weeks it will take to create a diamond. So, that is why since demand is high and uh, because of the time consuming processes, we were looking for uh, better methods, okay. 
right now when we are talking about the you know synthetic diamonds 99% of the diamonds are made through these particular processes then come the another process that is chemical vapor deposition okay now in this particular chemical vapor deposition method what they have done is that they have actually done they are done away with the uh, you know extreme conditions they are trying to make sure that relatively lesser extreme condition uh, would be needed for the process here you can see lower pressure compared to the hpht method whenever this when we are talking about this particular method that is high pressure high temperature method but in this method rel relatively lower pressure is included okay but still there is a requirement of the seed or the uh, you know starter gem so that requirement is still there now in the recent method or the new method which we will be talking about that is the new method in this these both conditions like high temperature high pressure plus the seed or the starter gem these both conditions are not required okay so what is happening over here it is a new approach developed by the team by physical chemist rodney roff he has used a completely different kind of uh, setup wherein materials are used or materials and conditions here you can say electrically heated gallium okay so here gallium has been used and it is a electrically heated uh, gallium and a bit of silicon okay in a graphite crucible okay so in a graph, uh, graphite crucible or you can say in a graphite pot there will be a little bit of silicon and then electrically heated gallium will be used over there and then there will be a uh, you can say uh, chamber okay there will be a chamber uh, that chamber will be around you know some uh, you know 9 liter or something like that that is the capacity of that chamber and that from that particular chamber there will be extremely hot carbon rich methane gas will be flushed through that particular chamber okay and now when this gas will be going through this particular chamber which is consisting all these ingredients as well then the uh, whatever carbon is there in the methane gas okay that carbon will start creating diamonds in that process okay so again i'll tell you what will be happening over here is that there will be electrically heated gallium in a graphite uh, you can say crucible now graphite crucible is used because graphite is also a isotope of carbon okay and diamond is also a isotope of carbon so that will you know act as a source of carbon then there will be silicon which will be used over here graphite will be used and the electrically heated gallium which is quite important okay now they will be used in the graphite uh, crucible and they will be kept in a particular chamber in through which extremely hot carbon rich methane gas will be flushed and that particular uh, chamber of nearly 2.4 gallon chamber or you can say 9 liters chamber will be there catalyzing a diamond growth okay so diamond growth will be there whenever such conditions will be there diamond growth will be there but the thing is this particular process which uh, you know accelerate the growth and because of which lesser time will be taken okay now coming to the next part over here what is the key innovation here that is speed as i told you the acceleration of the process will be fast diamond begin to form just within 15 minutes earlier they were they used to take nearly two weeks okay when we are talking about the natural process in the mantle of the earth it will take thousands of the years okay so that is why it becomes you know easy for us to you know uh, generate more diamonds over here then pressure as i told you the pressure requirements are uh, you know not very extreme over here the you can say normal oceanic temperature or sorry normal oceanic uh, pressure or you can say atmospheric pressure in the ocean will be taken as uh, you can say a pressure over here you can uh, here the process occurred as the standard sea level atmosphere process okay so when we are talking about the pressure that will be sea level atmospheric pressure okay and the unlike uh, hpht which require extreme conditions okay so extreme condition requirement is not there that is done away with second thing is speed will be very high then starter gem as i told you in this particular process we are using uh, graphite uh, crucible we are using silica we are using gallium but we are not using any starter gem okay so no starter gem will be used in this particular method so now the whatever you can say imp uh, you know objections were there in the previous method or the traditional method like uh, need of the starter gem or you know high temperature high pressure these requirements has been done away with okay so now there is no extreme requirement or extreme uh, you can say conditions which are to be set up for the development of the diamond okay now here you can see outcome and the challenges diamond quality now problem is that with this particular um, uh, process we don't know much about this particular process uh, how it is happening and how refined it will be so we will be you know going for r and d more and more r and d on this more and more research on this but the thing is when we are talking about the uh, quality of the diamond 
in this particular process, you will not be getting bigger diamonds, you will be getting smaller diamonds, okay. So, basically you cannot use these diamonds in the jewelry etc. But you can use it for the industrial purposes, okay. So here you can see, the produced diamonds are smaller than the those which are produced by HPHT, limiting their use in jewelry, but making them suitable for the industrial applications like drilling and the polishing, okay. Di diamond is very hard uh, in itself, so that is why it is used in industries, drilling and the polishing, okay. Potential for scale up, as I told you, there is this, uh, you can say, uh, R&D will be uh, there and there will be a potential. So, the lower pressure method could allow for significant scaling up the synthetic processes, potentially impacting the commercial production in a year or two. So, as soon as the R&D begins on this, as soon as we refine this particular process, there are chances that we will go for the diamond production by this particular process. Now, what is, what are the... Uh, when we are talking about this particular uh, last session, that is basically your prelims related MCQ. Here you can see the only diamond mine in India, okay. Option are Golconda mines, Panna mines, Kolar mines and Jharia mines. So, you can attempt this question and answer in the comment box. So, in today's episode, we have discussed that there are chances that we will be, you know, uh, making diamonds in just 15 minutes. That process has been there or discovered. In this particular process, we do not require any kind of extreme conditions, there is no requirement of the starter jam, okay. So, that is why this process is more reliable and it is more promising. So, in the coming years, we will be seeing that this process might be used in year uh, or two, okay. So, you can attempt this question and answer in the comment box. With that, I would like to take your leave. I will see you in the next episode. Till then, have a good day. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.